Hello, 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 queens. I'm back at y'all with another client tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing y'all how I created this look. We're jumping straight into the video. I'm starting this off by cleaning my client's face. Once her face is all clean, I'm going to go ahead and start working on her eyebrows. So I'm using my Nika K Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Black Brown and I'm just using it to outline her brows. I like to outline both brows before I fill them in just to get them as symmetrical as possible. Then once I have them as even as I can get them, I just start filling them in from the back and working my way up to the front. Once I've made my way to the front, I like to do little upward strokes as light handed as possible just to try to mimic hair. And once I have them filled in to my liking, I just take the spoolie end of the pencil and I blend everything out. Now that both brows have been filled in, I'm going to be taking my INV Clear Eyelash Glue and I'm just using this to lay her brow hairs down in place. If you have brow gel, you can use that, but as you can see, I just apply a generous amount onto the hairs and then I mold them down using the spoolie end of my pencil. To clean up her brows, I'm going to be going in with these two Nika K concealers and they're in the shades 04 and 12. First, I'm going in with the shade 04 and I'm using this to clean up underneath my client's arch. Now to clean up the remainder of the way on the top and the bottom of my client's brows, I'm just going in with the shade number 12.
I'm going to be going in with some of my Dermablend Translucent Powder. And I'm going to be pressing this throughout the front of her brows to lighten them up. You know, kind of enhance that ombre effect. I'm also going to be using it to set some of the concealer in place. For an eyeshadow base, I'm going in with none other than my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade White. And I'm just going to be applying this all around her lids, working one eye at a time. To start this look off, I'm going in with the shade Central Park from my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and I'm just going to be applying this right into her crease. Now on this blending brush, I'm going to be taking my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Black Coffee and I'm using it as my transition shade. To finish off this transition, I'm going in with the sculpting shade from my Black Radiance Contour Palette in the level light to medium, and I'm just blending it lightly around the edges. I'm going in with this baby blue eyeshadow base from P. Louise and I'm going to be applying this onto her lids. This is a no cut crease look so it does not have to be neat. It just has to be blended and this base is optional. You really don't need it for this look because as you can see once I blend it out you really can't see much of the color. To set her lids in place, I'm going in with the shade Afro Beats from my Juvia's Place Culture Palette and I'm just going to be pressing this all over the base. I'm taking the shade Enchanted from my Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and I'm just blending out the edge of her lid. I'm taking my favorite pigment from Ashley Lee Cosmetics in the shade Silver Milky Way and I'm just applying this to the inner corners of her eyes. For her liner, I'm going in with this liquid lipstick from the crayon case. I believe it's in the shade Broadway and I'm just drawing this on with a small angled brush. I didn't have a brown liner y'all, which is why I decided to go in with this liquid lipstick. We gotta make do with what we got, okay?
as y'all can see this liquid lipstick has a reddish tone to it and that really wasn't what i was going for so i decided to go in with this brown eyeshadow from my jaclyn hill times morphe palette and i'm just pressing it on top of the liquid lipstick just to try to get it to the shade that i would like for it to be and i make sure i press it on the edges to blend it in with her eyeshadow moving on to the face i'm going in right now and i'm just pressing in my pons moisturizer now i'm just priming her face using my elf putty primer once i'm finished blending in all of the primer i'm gonna color correct around her face using my nika k concealer in the shade number 12 as y'all can see it matches her skin tone perfectly we could have really used this as a foundation For her foundation, I'm going in with my Fit Me foundation and it's in the shade Deep Golden. To highlight her face, I'm going back in with my Nika K concealer and it's in the shade 06. I'm going to blend that concealer out using my foundation brush just to create a nice seamless blend. I'm gonna let the concealer sit under her eyes and move on to contour. To contour her face, I use my Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Catsina. To blend out the concealer underneath her eyes, I'm just going in with my damp Real Technique sponge. To 
to set the concealer in place, I'm using my Morphe Loose Powder and this is in the shade Banana Rich. To bronze up her face, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Black Coffee. To set the remaining areas of her face, I'm going in with another Black Radiance Press Powder. This one is in the shade Rich Mahogany. I'm going in with this black eyeshadow and I'm using it to line the edge of her waterline. Now that the under eyes have been lined, I'm going back in with that foundation brush and I'm using it to dust away all of the powder. I'm going to spray her face down with some setting spray and then we're going to move on to lashes. So this is the style that I decided to go in with for today's look. I believe I got these from Timu. They should be linked in one of my hauls, but I cut them to fit her eyes off camera. So now I'm just gluing them onto her lash line. While her lashes are drying, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight her face. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation and I'm using this to outline her lips. For the center of her lips, I'm just going in with this new Nika K lip gloss and I'm going to blend this out using my disposable lip wand. Once I'm finished blending out her lips, that'll be the finished look and we'll be stepping into the grand reveal. So I'm going to let y'all watch. Good to see? Yes. Oh. <laughs> eats down each time you eat yes <laughs> you're my listen. business okay <laughs> don't do that <laughs> who is that don't worry about it <laughs> yes ma'am we can try mm -hmm. something different today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes <laughs> don't worry about it Okay, queens, we've made it to the end of the video, and as y'all can see by my client's reaction, this tutorial was another success. I think this look came out so 
pretty it came out even better than how i envisioned it in my head and this is one of my favorite clients y'all every time she comes we just have a good time and she has such an easy face to do i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe make sure y'all follow me on instagram a link will be in the description box down below and stay tuned for my next one bye bye queens